I do want to say that there is probably a reason that a lot of <laughs> workers struggle to find people that want to marry them. Well, can I say a lot I of the disagree. perversion that comes if you are not going to be acceptant with your partner, if he comes to you and is like, hey, uh, I really like getting pegged. I want you to peg me. And you're like, ew, that's well, sometimes I'll say to each his own. But nah, this deserves a ill so disgusting like i would never do that you want me to eat your ass? i would never do that well then okay huh? what are you gonna do divorce hmm? him or I'm, what are you gonna do realistically i'm asking you, you an old, i'm asking hold on i really want to i want to know what are you gonna do that's well, your husband he's I like think, hey babe i think one of the things about marriage that's really beautiful is i know what my my husband before we got married i think i i know who but he things is. change hmm. and maybe he wants to start exploring he wants yeah. to start doing what Hey, if he wants to explore, tell him to go watch Dora the Explorer, or he can go to the Explore channel, all right? But this is not called exploring. This is called weirdness, all right? It seems like weird has been on sale this year, right? Because it's a whole lot of weirdo stuff going on. This is ridiculous, baby. Uh, so say, oh, so he rim. wants to start exploring, and he's like, oh my gosh, maybe I do want you to like eat eat my ass, <gasps> and what? I I kind of. And I kind of want you to peg me. Like, I'm kind of, I kind of want creation from you because you're my wife and you're what? so beautiful and hot and we're married and we have kids together and I'm, and I'm feeling a little bit kinky. And I, with you, since we have this special marriage and bond, yeah. how would you feel if we could just try this out just this one time, babe, please? I think it would probably indicate to me that my husband was involved in some perverse world, whether it was through that something else was okay. happening on the side because these aren't normal things that people just think of okay. when they wake up. So like, what's hey, your next I'd move? Really like a it's normal to her because the kind of job she do. You understand what I mean? When it's for the money, you start to become numb for everything. You get me? There's no feeling involved. So she she's talking ridiculousness right now. Strap on. Right. Well, so what's also, your next move? Uh, what's the ultimatum? He's going to divorce me if wait, I don't so peg him? Yeah, what's going on, y'all? Thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Wally, and you are now tuning into Playboy Hustlers TV. Hey, this is King of Melodies B. Yo, I am back with some more Candace Owens. She's about to shut down these girls right now. These girls are so lost. It's unbelievable, baby. You understand me? We already know. They some socks workers. You understand what I'm really trying to say, but you know how the algorithm do. Yeah, she's about to go in on some socks workers. Hey, ladies, stop selling your socks, all right? Stop selling your box, okay? Yeah, so matter of fact, that's what we're going to run with. She is going in on some box workers, all right? These ladies are out here selling box. Can't be selling boxes and thinking that someone's going to take you serious, all right? So let's let Candace show us what she's talking about. Sit back and react with your boy. Don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's go, baby. Considering looking for someone of value, you also take a <clears throat> second to measure yourself and see if you are a person of value that's worthy of marrying. Because I think people forget that part. Mm. Um, and I, that's almost the most important part. Got it. So recently, uh, a video went pretty viral on the internet, and Candace, you actually tweeted about it. Something about Shashuka. I don't know if I'm oh, saying that right. Um, so Nick, if you can pull a video, we're going to just have the panel react to it. And then before you go full screen on that, so Matt Walsh posted. He's about to preview what happens when women have these weird mindsets, as Candace is exposing right here. And this is the result. This is the outcome to weirdoness right here. Check it out. Did it. And I saw this everywhere. I saw it yesterday. Uh, her life doesn't revolve around her family and kids, so instead it revolves around TV shows and pop stars. Worst of all, she's too stupid to realize how depressing this is. And then Candace uh, quote X'd it, quote tweeted, I don't know anymore. He, okay, quote X'd it. This is what this is what was future wait, this is Let what was uh, okay. this is what a yeah. future this is what a this is what future, future depression. sorry. I, uh, future depression, Xanax, and wine combo nights alone looks like. But hey, the shashuka. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> um, so <laughs> let's play the video. Nick, if you can go full screen on it, and then we'll get the panel's Healthy reaction. Xanax wine nights. It's 10.45 a.m. on a Saturday. Morning. I'm 29 and single, and I don't have kids yet. Here's what your Saturday morning looks like when you... 
ain't gonna front. I had to stop it because she looks way older than 29. You're single at 29 and you don't have a kid running around the house. I didn't rise from my bed until 10, 15. Every time I thought I should probably get up and do something. I thought, why? Nobody's making me. I'm not missing out on anything. I went to Beyonce last night and I didn't get home until 1 a.m. Just so you women are aware, when you're married, no one's making you do anything. What happens is when you become part of something, it's certain things that, you know, as part of that union should be done. You understand what I mean? There's no difference if I join a team. Certain things are going to be required by my position. You get what I'm saying? So even a job, your position has a requirement. So in a marriage, your position also has a requirement. Many people don't think this way. And I danced and drank my little heart out, and I didn't pay a babysitter to watch my kids as I did that. And I woke up a tad hungover mm -hmm. this morning, which is probably why I was in bed for so long. And I was just scrolling on my phone, and I saw a picture of shakshuka, and I thought, you know what sounds really good? Maybe I'm going to learn how to make shakshuka today. Because I have no plans, and I don't have kids, and I don't have a husband, and I don't have errands to run. I can go to the grocery store and learn how to make shakshuka. So that's on my agenda today. So basically, I get what she's saying. She's very happy being irresponsible and having no responsibilities. Basically, to her, she's winning. This is her mindset. Also on my agenda, probably a rewatch of some Real Housewives of New York. I'm also doing a rewatch of Normal People on Hulu, which is really spicy and I highly recommend. Weirdly, I'm into this documentary on Netflix about Blue Zone countries, so I've got a pretty stacked day. Anyway, I say all this to say, whenever I'm hard on myself about why I'm not married and I don't have kids and I should be further along at 29, almost 30, I wouldn't want to do anything else this Saturday. And I'm going to tell you like this. For like a mindset like this, I wouldn't even ask them, why aren't you married or have kids? I would say it's a good thing you aren't married and it's a great thing you don't have kids because someone like you are not deserving to have any of that. Look at her mindset. She doesn't want to be responsible. She want to wake up whatever time she want to wake up and be an airhead. Look what she's consuming. Look at the TV shows she's consuming. What is she really doing with her 24 hours in a day? Nothing. What man wants that? What child wants to grow up in that type of environment? I'm glad she don't have kids. And I know that you can do all these things when you have kids and you're married, and I understand, but the effortlessness and ease of my life, just kind of focusing on myself and the shakshuk I want to make or the Beyonce concert I want to go to really pays off when I'm hard on myself for not being where society tells me I should be in life. And society is not telling you that you should do those things. What happens is that's what keeps the cycle going. You wouldn't be here if your mom's had that same mindset. Think about that. Oh, this is going to be really her going, sha, sha, sha. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what, why do you guys... Why is homegirl dressed like this to come to a podcast? The one straight ahead screams thirsty, desperate housewife. Let's see, I can go down the line. I mean, look how Candace is dressed. Not saying they should all be dressed like that, but she's dressed for what she's coming to do, an interview. She's not coming to model her body. You understand what I mean? She's coming for this. She's giving you this right here. When I'm giving you this, I don't need to show this. You understand what I mean? But then you got the other one. She's wearing a shirt that says Made in Hell. And then she got crosses on her chain. Now you tell me if she's confused or not. You understand what I mean? A bunch of narcissists I see right here, baby. I just think that this video went kind of crazy viral and what what's the analysis here? I mean it went crazy viral because Matt Walsh tweeted it. Let's be real. That would have just gone into the ethosphere on TikTok and no one would have talked about it. Had no, I think it would have went viral without him and the way you saying it sounds like you have a problem with Matt Walsh. I don't know why. We're going to figure it out though. He not picked that up and tweeted it. Well, was Matt? I don't know if Matt Walsh was the, like the first. He person. was. Well, oh, was yeah. he really? Okay, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that. But I guess my. What's interesting to me is that this woman has actually even said, you know, she gives herself a hard time. She wants to be married. She wants to have children. So I don't think that it's right to demonize her and act like she's going to have a depressing life when she just hasn't found the right person because clearly she wants those things. And she I don't think she wants those things. She was just going in on how she's doing great without those things and she made it seem like it was an arch enemy like she's anti that you, you get what i mean pay attention to it homegirl you need to re-listen to this 
you're sounding weird right now. And she's trying to make herself feel better and other people in that community feel better about not being that far along. Because like you said, you wanted people to settle down with the right person, take their time, figure out if that's the right person. So just because she's 29, you're saying that it's like too late for her and she's going to be doing Xanax and drinking wine at night no. because she hasn't reached that point yet. I didn't yet. say no. that. That's not what my tweet said. Like you said the said. future. Yeah, I, right. because she's an, obviously a narcissist, right? Facts. <laughs> so, like, Why issue, would you think first that? and foremost, let's not, let's not pretend this is one video that she made. It's her brand on TikTok. It's her brand on social media. She talks about these, these are this community known as dinks. We're happy and we're childless. She talks about how great it is to be childless. So she has developed a, she's a social media influencer that talks about childlessness. So let's Yeah, they make it seem like if you have a kid, you did wrong or something like that. Because she's out here doing nothing, and she's able to do whatever she wants. You, you hear the, the, the weirdoness right here that's going on in today's society? Yeah. Stop pretend this is one woman making a video who just said, oh, I had a great Saturday. There's absolutely no reason if you had a great Saturday at 29 years old, and you learned to make shashuka, and you slept in at 11 until 11.15 or 10.15, uh. whatever she said, that you need to bring up children. There's absolutely no reason. You just say, here's what I did today. I laid in all day. Uh. I did this. I did that. The fact that she has to correlate it to saying, and this somehow makes me better than people that have children. Is yeah, it's just outrageous, yo. She could have left that out. She could have, exactly what Candace is saying. All she had to say is, yo, look, my life is great. Look what I do. I wake up at this time. This is what I do. Ah, ah, ah. And then people will figure it out like, oh, okay, maybe she don't have no kids. They won't bring it up. But you brought it up. You made a statement about it. You understand what I mean? You made sure that we paid attention to that one part right there. Cause that's what you made the video about is the problem she, she started she she literally goes on to talk about not having children it wasn't necessary in this video so it's not like people are just shaming single women on the internet you could go on right now and talk about what you've done all day and there's no reason to bring up but you know having a having a child or not she's actually doing the shaming and now we're trying to pretend that she's the victim she's not she has a brand where she talks about childlessness and she talks about leaning into selfishness and all the things that are amazing about not having children. Again, this is not the first video that she's produced. So the reason why, and if you're a man watching this, don't marry this woman. She's basically telling you she's selfish. She's telling you she's a narcissist. Everything she says is about me, 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 me. Even if you're single, you don't have to make your whole day revolve around you. <laughs> you don't have to. You can get up in the morning. You can go help others. You can do other things. You can say, now that I have free time as a single woman, I can go dedicate time to the church. I can sing. I can do this. I can help people find God. You see what I'm saying? Her 24 hours are useless. She made her 24 hours useless. It's not useful. She's not contributing to anything with her 24 hours of her free time. That particular woman that you just looked at is a selfish <laughs> and men shouldn't, shouldn't men should not marry her. That's my personal opinion. You wanted I, to come in really quick? Yes. I wanted to answer your question. Okay. Here we go with the two hands. You know when the two hands come out, it's gonna be sarcasm. Pay attention. Real quick, as to you said, why it went viral? I sure. think it went viral because it's like nowadays, it's like. All right, nowadays, why are you playing with yourself on TV right now? That's what I want to know. Why did you wear that? And this one right here, I can't. It's like it's just it keeps looking at me. First off, it looks botched. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You already look like you need to hang it up. And instead, you letting it out. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? It look, what time is it? What time of the day is it? What are we doing over here? I, at least I appreciate that one for covering up. But come on, this one right here, made in where? Whoa, with the crosses on? How delusional are you? But listen, Mrs. Orange. Oh, my goodness. Mrs. Orangina. Mm-mm-mm. Why must you wear something like this to a podcast? Well, I forgot. You're a box worker, so I guess you're selling box 24-7, huh? Let's go. It's relatable in our day and age. You know what I mean? Like 22, 23 years old. I don't know how old this girl is, but like 29, 20, 29 or whatever. But she in said my it. day and age, like it's relatable to be like, haha, we don't got kids. Like, quote, you're unquote, 20 them kids you know what i mean it's like i'm glad it, you're admitting that. it's like that i'm glad like, you're admitting it's, that it's like a term that people use you know what i mean and it's like it's just relatable it's like that's why it gets so many views is what to answer your question i think that's really honest of you. all right look what someone said they said candace thank you for following michael's lead 
They said, Candace, thank you for following Michael's lead. Do you think we could bring back family values or has the love of fast money and socks ruined our society? Thank you for exposing the media lies. Congrats on the baby. Brian, you the man. Stay calm, my brother. Hey, people have spoken. You to say that. You wanted to come in? them kids yeah no i said <laughs> i'm just gonna unquote, i was that's gonna, what they say you yeah but I mean? you're admitting that that so that she's start, starting the fight you're looking and at people that are moms that are trending like, i don't when, I, I'm not, when, when i'm with my kids right i don't post bi videos and say f them single chicks with no kids right Word. she did the baiting okay and we responded that's it i right. don't know like it's the first thing i was gonna thing. say hold on let's just let essie yeah. go ahead go the ahead. first thing i noticed about the video was that she was putting people with kids down. It'd be fine if she was just talking about how her day was and sporting it differently, but it seemed like almost immediately from the mm. beginning of the video that she was belittling people with kids, which I think is like the part of the problem. Mm. Yes, that was the part of the problem. And I thought I was the only one who had background noise going on over here with the airplanes being I live so close to the airport, but look at this. Hey, I don't feel alone anymore. Pixie, go ahead. Yeah, no, I think this is like up to interpretation because personally, when I saw that video, my interpretation was like, oh, she's putting herself down because she's saying like, oh, you know, when I tell myself, why am I not further along in life? You know, it's okay because at least I'm enjoying these things. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. So I could definitely see like, depending on how you're looking at it or if you have further context, why you would think she's putting kids down. But when I saw that video by itself, I was thinking like people are kind of going a little bit overboard in the sense that she says she's being harsh on herself. She doesn't have children. And these are just the things that have made her happy today. And I don't think that by itself without additional context is inherently wrong. And guess what else makes people happy? Crack makes crackheads happy. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I found this out by watching documentaries. Yes, yes. So when people say, hey, that makes them happy, miss me with that, all right? Mm. Anybody else? Tara, did you? Yeah. Did I say it right this time? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the background of what other types of content and messaging she puts out, but just from that video alone, I don't think I it, she ever, to me, I never got the impression she was shaming people that did that women that were married to kids, it felt like she felt bad that she wasn't already there and she was just trying to be optimistic about it. How, yo, you know, I, I'm glad for this right here because it lets you know how people think and I don't know what she was using to see or listen, but she needs a little cleansing because that's not what I got right there. About it, And so I think it, it sounded more like her content was about making women who are childless and not married yet and are approaching the end of their reproductive years to like look on the bright side but i really and i'm, I'm the i all my friends know i'm like so now i see what they said when i was younger and i was being told that now i see it is is funny this is hilarious yo eager and ready for like marriage and kids but um i i really honestly just didn't get that impression from that video alone that it was she was in any way so when she was Shame. talking about, I got to go to a Beyonce concert and I didn't have to pay for a babysitter. You yeah. don't think that was no, the little like, It's she, so, yeah, she was, that was obviously, selfish of her to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, she being selfish and, she's and she was that. being rude. And if, if it was flipped and a conservative woman with children said the opposite of that right. to single women, it would blow up. It would blow up. And they right. would say, how rude of you to, why are you even mentioning single women? Just say you had, you had a good day with your kids. That's yeah. fine. If I and said I, I woke like up, went to the park with my like, kids, did that. Okay chill why are you correlating it to children it doesn't you know it doesn't make any sense so and like i said she's produced more content so that the context is important she's leaned into this as a brand and as an influencer so you know then you're going to expect the people that influence people to have families to respond matt walsh being among them me being among them and i do would like to again warn men against marrying a woman who holds those sorts of perspectives because she's ultimately just selfish like i said yeah that's if that's not a red flag i don't know what to tell you stevie wonder could see that Thank you all very much. You can have a day and you can be single. You don't have to dedicate your whole day. It's me, 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 narcissist, me. Here's what I did for me. It's just not a woman that you want to marry full stop for leaving apart, leave, leaving the kids totally separate from it. I wouldn't marry a woman like that. Mm. Go ahead. You and all to I'm come saying in. is like, it is, it's sad, but it's crazy that like, it's a trend. You know what I mean? Like it that's is. why they're getting so many views on TikTok or Instagram or whatever they're posting these things on. It's like, it's a trend. Yeah. And, yeah, you know, it's crazy. Just well, she looked like she needs a lot of more vitamins. Looked like she's lacking on something in life. Uh, sh uh, show of hands, who here wants to have kids one day? 
More, yeah. It's my third, but... <laughs> wow. One, two, three, four. I have no intention on reproducing, on using what God made them to be. <laughs> Besides Candace, does anyone here have kids? You got kids? How I can tell she has kids. Her kid's probably ashamed of her right now. How many yeah. I have um, a son. He's 21. Okay, gotcha. He's gotcha. perfect. I have um, a son. He's 21. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> okay. But Got one it. thing I notice, um, a trend, like, I agree that it's a trend, and, and she's doing that to brand herself and, and go viral. And get ooh, ooh. That looks, ooh. Do you all see what I see? Do you see what I see? Ugh. Get a lot of attention and, and maybe monetize that. Um, when I talk with other girls and they're younger and I'll say, uh, are you married? Are you, are you planning on having children? Sometimes that's a hot button for them. And it's maybe perhaps, a, you know, these kind of trends are like the... Y'all see my face? Ugh, please don't do it to yourself, yo. She overdid it to herself. It's a rebellious thing because sometimes it's expected for for people to to get married out of the gate and have children mm. and that kind of traditional lifestyle if it's an expectation that parents have that they put on on their children and younger generations aren't having it especially these days when it's so hard to i mean it's so expensive people are having to work a lot yo if delusional was a person it'd be them Yes, it be them. I'm so sorry. You know what? I believe Shorty right there need to get out that room. She don't belong around them. She probably just came along just to fill in the seat. I don't think her mind is like the rest of them. But with that being said, this is good to see. It's good to see how people are thinking out here. You get me? And these are the same people who go out and vote. Yes, it is. It's scary. I know it is. Hey, I'm going to need y'all to go in the comments, run it up, flood it up, let me know your thoughts on this. Exactly be precise too. I right? make sure you put a hundred on the dash and I'll make sure I respond quick fast. Right? Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification bell. I'm watching. I don't know what you're waiting for, but the bus ain't coming no time soon. Love y'all.